Many times you want to check if some cells contain a specific text or number and if you use a normal if formula with an equal sign, it won't work unless you do it my way. I'm gonna show you two methodologies to solve this and you tell me in the comment section which one you prefer. Now the second one will allow you to do case sensitive search. So let's start. We want to find USA within those references. So I need three ingredients. The first one is if, second one is count if, and third one is the star. So how do I do this? Let's start with count if. Equal count if, open parenthesis, my range is this text, comma, and then you need the criteria. For the criteria, we will use the star. The star means any number of random characters. It could be 0, 1, 10, 20, doesn't matter. So double quotation, star, double quotation, and USA here, F4, and double quotation, star, double quotation, close parenthesis. What did I do? I know you are looking at me and you are puzzled, but don't worry. I said, I want any number of random characters at the beginning. It could be zero character, then USA, then any number of random characters at the end. Press enter, you get one because USA is here. Then let's double click. Here USA is at the end and USA is in the middle. And notice that it's not case sensitive because USA is in small caps here. Now I have this. I can use it to my advantage. So if I add an if here at the beginning, if the count if is bigger than zero, if I find USA one time, it will be one, two times it will be two and so on. So anytime I find USA, it's more than zero, comma, I want found, then comma, double quotation, double quotation, close parenthesis. Now you press enter, you get found, double click, there we go. Let's do a few more examples. So for example, I want USA only at the beginning. What do I do in this case? So if I want to start with USA, I don't want any character before USA, which means I can get rid of this piece, press enter, double click, and it will only return found for this one because here I have other characters, so it doesn't work. Now control Z, control Z. Some of you are snipers. They will tell me, I want only two characters and then USA, not any number of random characters. What do we do in this case? We use the question mark. Every question mark is equal to one random character. So in my case, I want two random characters at the beginning. So question mark, question mark, press enter. There is nothing here. Double click. Only this one meets my criteria. So now that you understand how it works, let's do Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, and let's move to something else, which is I want to have either USA or France. So what do I do in this case? I can use count if multiple times. So let's just copy paste this formula. So Ctrl C escape, let's go here and let's paste it with Ctrl V. And what I want is just add another count if. So Ctrl C, I will add here a plus, count if. Now here, instead of B3, I need to start changing. This will become C3 and this one will become C2. So I have C3 and C2. If I find any of them, this will return a one. I sum it bigger than zero, found, etc. Now let's double click and there you go. It works like a chart. Now let's try the other methodology, which is with search and find. So what does search and find do? Let's try them out. Equal search, open parenthesis. I need to find a text. So my text is this one, F4, comma, within a text. That's my other text. And then I need the start number, which allows me to look for a start character. I don't need to use this. This is an optional parameter. Just close parenthesis. In this case, it gave one. Let me just drag it. You can see that here you get five, three, some numbers and here values. So don't panic. It's clear that value means I didn't get anything. And here it is at which character I find my text. Here it's at the beginning, so character one. Here it's character five and so on. So now that I have this information, I can check whether what I'm getting is a number. So if I add here is number, I open parenthesis and I have my value close parenthesis, 
you get true double click all those three are true and then you have false now combining this with an if formula is very easy it will be the same as here and we can do it and get the found now i just want to tell you one thing is that the find is case sensitive search is not so here for example i have search if i use find press enter you get false because this is case sensitive and usa is small caps so now i'm just gonna keep search here you can use find if you want and now we can add the if formula so let's just copy this Control x escape we come here paste it and add an if in front open parenthesis if this is true so i can do equal to true or just keep it like this without anything it's the same comma and value if true is found double quotation comma value if false is double quotation double quotation close parenthesis so there you go you double click and you have the same result now what if i want to look for france or usa in this case i can just take my formula Control c escape i come here paste it and we just need to change the reference here what do we do well this is is number it's only for usa so if i want usa or france i can use the or operator so or open parenthesis let's close parenthesis here we have logical one comma i need logical two which is another is number the formula looks crazy but if you do it step by step like building a puzzle it will be easy look at this i just added this one and now instead of e3 i just want e2 so here you have e2 e3 and this is the text perfect let's double click there we go it gives the same result